Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. The first clip comes from ARJES Recycling, showing an absolutely massive and mobile shredder. They use this shredder to dispose of old and worn out or otherwise wrecked vehicles that are no longer usable. The shredder, of course, disintegrates whatever is put inside, then outputs a pile of debris ready to be recycled. It can be incredibly satisfying to watch the shredder take in the hunks of metal and plastic and turn them into small chunks. The second clip on our list comes from Arregger AG, showing the demolition of an old structure. Not all buildings are made equally, and while some are easy to demolish, be it that they're made out of wood or it's otherwise simple to use explosives to detonate, some projects simply can't be handled the same way and need specialized equipment. Here, they use a set of claws to tear apart the reinforced concrete structure that makes up this building. Next up on our list is some tilling machinery from Herd Equipment. This agricultural equipment is towed from a tractor and pulled across soil to till it, which prepares it for cultivation. The rear end of the trailer is what actually tills the soil by using thin wheels to cut into the dirt, sort of like pizza cutters. The angle of the cutting wheels makes sure that as much of the dirt is turned as possible, exposing more of the nutrient-rich soil. Out of Germany, an impressive hedge trimmer using large saw blades. Mounted from a tractor, this device is pushed along and used to cut down any plants that are beginning to impede on the road itself. Using multiple rotating cutting saws mounted on an adjustable arm, any tree branches, shrubs, and other plants that may be getting in the way are removed. Our next clip is from Batek, showing a large saw for cutting through stone and concrete. This large spinning saw is mounted onto an excavator boom and is powerful enough to cut through concrete and foundations. This is useful in the preparation of an area for construction or simply for assisting in demolition.
This next clip is from Next Trencher, showing an impressive trenching machine. This device is mounted onto a specialized tractor that contains a large spinning mining belt, which works similarly to a chainsaw. This chainsaw-like belt is adjustable in a way that it can be pushed into the ground to dig up to a substantial depth. As it digs, the dirt is expelled out of the side neatly into a pile. This is useful for laying out pipework, foundations, and other underground structures. Up next is a cutter attachment for an excavator from Chemrock. This, like some of the other devices that we've seen on our list, employ a spinning blade, this one being used for cutting into stone walls. Cutting into a wall like this could be for a variety of purposes, such as embedding structural supports. Sometimes, it can be for planting explosives so that the wall can be detonated and removed. Our next machine comes from the South African company Aardvark, used for agricultural waste collecting. After our harvest is complete, the soil is covered in a large amount of decomposing waste, such as roots and stems. When the crop needs to be cycled for the next season, all of the topsoil is removed, along with all of this waste product. The soil can then be prepared for the next crop that will be planted, without the interference that might result from the previous growth cycle. This next machine is a rather large lawnmower. This isn't the kind that you'd push around your backyard either, and like many of the other machines that we've looked at, it's tractor mounted. This one in particular is a rather powerful variety, capable of cutting down shrubs, bushes, and even small trees. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.